Hi everyone, this is going to sound like bad news, but it's probably good news. After I was banned from Twitter, someone sent me a video of a Muslim apologist who's been telling his viewers to flag my content as hate speech. Go to the section and report and flag the video. And then also go to Patreon and also report and flag that the man is profiting off of Patreon through hate speech and hate uh, antics against Islam. This is how you heard him. Now, I don't do anything that violates any of the rules on any of the platforms that I'm on, so he's actually telling his viewers to false flag my content. Historically, the main platforms have done an okay job dealing with false flags, but that has been changing. A little over a month ago, I had a YouTube video removed as hate speech. There was nothing in the video that came within a thousand miles of hate speech. It was a total false flag, and yet YouTube took down my video, gave me a community guidelines strike, and took away my ability to upload or live stream for a week. And YouTube rejected my appeal. A few days ago, Twitter banned me over a video. The video contained absolutely nothing that Twitter claimed it contained. Total false flag. And yet I was banned and my appeal was rejected. My account is still up. I'm just locked out of it forever. All over a false flag. So, the main social media platforms just aren't protecting creators who are being targeted by false flags. Every day when I wake up and go to my YouTube channel, I'm expecting another strike over another false flag. I'm expecting my channel to be removed. YouTube and social media in general have become a source of constant anxiety. I've got five sons, two of them are on life support. I don't need an additional source of stress in my life. Making videos for YouTube used to be fun. It's just not fun anymore. It's stressful. Besides that, it's pretty obvious that my channel isn't going to survive. Whether it's this month or next month or later this year, eventually my channel is going to be taken down due to false hate speech flags. So every time, I make a video now. It's in the back of my mind that I'm wasting my time. The video is just going to be removed at some point, so why spend my entire day working on a video that's just going to be removed? I don't want to waste my time. I want to do something that lasts. So I've decided to focus on writing. I have multiple publishing companies, multiple book agents harassing me to finish some books. I'm way behind on writing because I spend all of my work time making videos. I think if I stop making videos and focus on writing, I can get several books out and they might be more effective than videos. So you won't be seeing me on YouTube anymore unless I'm on someone else's channel for a live stream or something, but I'll still be speaking in various places so you can see me there. And if all goes well, you'll be able to read some epic books by David Wood very soon. Thank you all for watching me all these years. It's time for a new generation of Christian apologists to take over. Be sure to subscribe to channels like What Do You Meme and Vocab Malone. They'll be carrying the torch. Peace. I'll see you around.